Hi, Stu here from Itel Corsa Asia. Welcome back to the channel. I want to spend some time this week to talk about uh, purchasing gear, purchasing equipment, purchasing carts, and some of the things that you as a parent should probably know when you're going to go and purchase things. Now, start with the safety gear. You know, and it all starts from there. Before you get in a cart, you're going to need your gloves, your helmet, your neck protector. You're going to need, you know, a full Nomex fireproof suit. You're going to need boots. You're going to need a bunch of things, and this is really where you know you have to go down that path and, and have great safety. I will tell you, and this is one of the things to look out for. Almost everything in karting has a homologation and an expiry date. So when you're buying equipment, when you're buying gear, make sure it's fresh. If you buy a suit and it's been sitting on the shelf for three years, you might buy it and find that it expires in six months. So you get to your first race. You turn up the scrutineering, they're going to look at the tag inside and they're going to go, oh, your suit's expired, you can't race. And you'll have to go and get another one. So helmets expire, uh, gloves expire, everything has an expiry date, including the carts themselves with respect to racing. So what we tend to do is we have a whole bunch of kids gear that, uh, that we keep as a team because kids grow. They get bigger and as they do, many of, much of our race gear ends up being put in the box that we then use uh, you know, for new kids that are coming through. And that's an ability to come and use some of our gear and get the sizing right. Find a pair of shoes that's the right size. Find a suit that's the right size. Get all your sizing right. Once you've done that, you'll have options. There are places in Singapore that you can go you can also, and certainly, you know, what we do a lot of the time is we go to places like Demon Tweaks. DemonTweaks.com, um, based out of the UK, uh, I found them to literally be the cheapest and the best way to acquire a lot of uh, racing gear. They'll basically deliver by courier. It'll arrive usually in a couple of days, um, and you have the ability to get nice fresh gear from a from a company that is turning over lots of gear constantly. So with, with purchasing gear, come and try first, come and make sure that you've got the right sizes because there's nothing worse than spending good money on equipment and discovering you bought something either too big or too small. You really want to get the right size for the kids and you do need to just wear the fact that over time the kids are going to grow and you will actually have to replace a few things as, along the way. Similarly with buying a cart, you'll also find that there is a set of homologations. Now, what this means is the carts are all largely standardized. So even though they come from uh, different manufacturers, different carts, that basically there's a single set of standards that, that the carts all have to uh, adhere to, which means there's actually not a massive amount of difference between the, the chassis. Right? Every now and again, people say, oh, my chassis is so much better than your chassis. Well, yeah, okay. But the reality is the driver makes the most difference. And the reason I say that is because if your chassis was two seconds faster than my chassis, then there would only be one chassis in the sport. Everyone would just go and buy the fastest chassis that was two seconds faster. Nobody else would be competing and the sport would fall apart. So basically what you'll find is that the chassis do make a difference. They'll make a tenth of a second here, two tenths of a second there. You know, they tend to make some small differences. The reality is the driver does make most of the difference. So be realistic about the, some of the equipment and, you know, where you'll see the big gains. You want to get a second faster, we focus on the driver. When we get to the, you know, when we get down to the point where we're getting, you know, half a second off the track, collect the track, record, you know, one second within the track record, then what we'd start and do is we say, okay, we've started and get the drivers fairly well dialed in. Now we go back and focus on optimizing the carts to make sure that we eke out every last little piece. So you'll find that if you buy an older chassis, the 2014 homologation, which lasted 2014, uh, those carts all finish at the end of 2021 uh, and they'll no longer be valid for racing. The 2020 homologation came in. So starting January 2020, there is the new batch that will go through for the next few years and then they will get replaced again. So first of all, look at the homologation for any cart that you're going to buy and make sure that it's up to date. 
The next one uh, that you want to look at is don't, don't ever buy an orphan. You don't want to go and buy a, sh a chassis and you will see them around. You can go online and there'll be people trying to sell a chassis here or there. And they're, they're a one of one chassis. If you cannot get a bunch of other people running the same chassis, you won't have spare parts. You'll be get to race day, you'll bend something in, in practice and you'll be out for the whole session. So, you know, the one piece of advice I was given and I stick to it very carefully is never buy an orphan chassis. Make sure that what you get is common, it's up to date, because frankly, you want to take it racing, which means in today's world, you really need the 2020 homologation because that's what's going to let you race for the next few years and then we'll end up swapping to the next uh, range. So, I hope that gives you a few hints Everything has an expiry date. Buy equipment that is fresh from a, from a great source. Uh, come and borrow some equipment and check sizes and make sure that you've got things right before you go and um, you know, acquire anything like that. And you should be able to have, again, the most cost-effective, economical way of going racing. If you like the channel, if you like this video, please hit the like and the share button. Let other people know and we'll try and answer their questions as yours. If you have any questions you want answered, leave them down below, uh, leave us a bit of a note, and we'll try and address it as quickly as possible. Thank you.